welcome back to my channel. This is Rebecca and I posted a photo of this thrift store find on the Facebook group uh, Friends of Philofaxi and someone had asked if I would do a YouTube video on uh, featuring this planner so I thought I would do that now. Uh, it, none of the inserts really are different from my previous videos so I'm not going to go over the actual inserts but I'll go over the function or, or the features of this particular binder itself. So I found it at a thrift store. Uh, in the lower right corner you'll see that it has a embossed um, imprint that says L'Arte del Quau, Florence. And I, I definitely know that I'm pronouncing that right, wrong. So I had uh, looked it up on Google Chrome to see how to pronounce this. L'Arte del Quau. That's how it's pronounced. <laughs> It means the art of leather, uh, the whole sentence except for Florence, that's just uh, where it's made. And um, there are no exterior pockets. Uh, no, you know, some of the planners that you find will have an, some sort of exterior pocket, but this doesn't have any. It has some nice wear on it, like um, scuff marks, etc. The stitching has contrast stitching. It's a lighter, like, beige or goldish in color. Um, I'm attracted to those types of planners. Uh, for example, the Malden has a similar type of contrast stitching on it. And then for the clasp, it is not a snap closure nor a magnetic closure. It's just a slip band that slips underneath this loop but it is made extra thick by having this extra piece sewn on and it provides the ability to pull on it using that tab. It does stay pretty snug. I haven't had it uh, come loose yet even though it's very easy to remove. On the inside it has a paisley pattern of fabric sewn into the back part of the planner both on the front and back. It has a slip pocket, full length, and I have quite a bit in there, prescriptions, um, stamps, receipts, uh, eyeglass prescriptions, some stickers, etc. It has a secretarial pocket on the left hand side. I just have some uh, free movie tickets that I earned. Um, two business card slots and they are not deep so meaning that it won't fall down into the nether world. <laughs> um, so you can see it stops it by putting it there. I just put some sample cards in there just so you can see. Um, as far as putting more than one I'm sure I could probably get maybe one or two in there. So I have two um, Walmart gift cards in there, even though they're not, I wish they had money on them. And then of, of course the full length zip uh, slip. The back has a full length slip pocket as well. And a place, I think that this is meant to hold either currency or a checkbook register, uh, you know, to, to slip in and that way you can keep it handy. Now, as far as the <clears throat> excuse me, as far as the pen loop is concerned, the pen I typically use with my planner at the moment is this uh, Pilot Multi Ball. However, because it's a full leather loop, it doesn't quite fit the thickness of this Multi Ball. However, this is a similar size pen, just slightly slimmer. This is a cross multi-pen, so it has uh, a pencil, black ink, 
and red ink. And it slides like butter into the pen loop. So perfect fit into this pen loop. As far as other pens are concerned, I'm assuming that anything that has like a rubber grip probably would have some trouble. This doesn't even get past the rubber grip. So I'm assuming any type of uh, thin pen might work. I'm looking to see. I have a friction, very slim, but this is almost too skinny. But you get the gist. Now the rings are uh, 26 millimeter. They are somewhat oval. Let me take these out so you can see the uh, rings at a better glance, but they are a somewhat oval, not quite completely circular and or round. Um, so I, I feel like it holds just a tad bit more that way when they're oval. The rings were very, very tight. It does look like the this is a removable ring set. I haven't yet taken this plate off to determine if it is. And I just, um, I just at this point don't want to remove the rings uh, because I don't want to take the chance of of bending or you know tweaking these rings because they are really nicely set now on both of the front and back there is a stiffener included so although it somewhat has a little bit of bend to it it is a pretty stiff uh, binder however it does lay completely flat as soon as you open it up bam lace flat. Love that. Love that it has this paisley background. Love that it has slip pockets and the ability to remove the rings because I could utilize maybe a um, B6 planner such as uh, like I did with the Gilio Amica. However, the Amica is slightly whiter than the than this particular planner and therefore without the tabs even without the tabs I think it might be just slightly too big of a of a book to fit in to here however in my Malden I had made this into a kind of Midori style I took the rings out which are not typically a removable ring set and I put in these uh, Jibun Tetsu life um, planner books in here and I think that this set would definitely fit inside uh, this planner because this is also um, narrower than the Gilio Amica so as you can see here it extends past the Malden just like this one does It's about the same extension so I think that it would be able to work if I wanted to attempt it anyway so the planner I'm really pleased with the purchase uh, I don't think I'll sell this anytime soon but uh, I really love the contrast stitching and the fact that it lays flat and you know the only thing I could say that this could be improved uh, in any way is if it had an additional card slot because I feel like there's a big gap here um, that could have been utilized by an additional card um, pocket so um, I do like that it has a, a money slip pocket there are no zipper pockets but you know who carries change around with them anymore these days so anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and I look forward to seeing you on my next video thanks have a great day